Hi there, my name is Andrew Adams from Park Adams Boat Sales and we're here today in Hyde Marina to present what I believe is probably the best condition Sea Line S34 that I've personally seen. It's a 1999 boat and it's presented in really, really lovely condition. One of the things I love on the S34 is that the cockpit is really, really spacious. You've got these two seating areas, the U-shaped seating here with this large chaise long to one side and then a double or it could even be a triple helm seat. Down below, it's all presented in beautiful condition. You've got a teak and holly flooring, very, very nice condition upholstery, large forward cabin with a slightly offset bed, and then this rear cabin really is incredibly spacious. So the S34, I think, is a brilliant alternative to something like the ever-popular Fairline Targa 34, but of course, these are slightly better value. So I think that the S34 really is a brilliant boat, and I'm excited to bring you this walkthrough tour. So as always, it seems like a good place to start at the back of the boat. And you can see that the access onto this boat is very, very good. It's slightly raised actually. So a lot of the things you see on the sea line is the sea line tend to pack more into a boat than other manufacturers. Although this is a 34, I would say it has more storage space and more volume than the equivalent Targa 34, despite being a little bit narrower. And you can see that from the stern. So the stern has got a, a twin height area. You step up onto the, um, that area. And then here you can see it's a little bit of an old harking back to the old days where davits were very popular on boats but you can still buy davits if somebody wanted to have davits on this boat they would be mounted onto those plates there and then the tender would sit up here out the water or you can have snap davits where the tender would just lift up you have a storage locker in here which is enormous so in there you've got a couple of fenders there's a bucket full of cleaning materials so that's a really really good space in there you have a transom shower on the boat and you can see the teak is in good condition. It's showing some signs of wear, so you can feel the corking underneath. So it could be sanded back, but there's a lot of depth on there, so it would come back really, really nicely. There is also a bathing ladder. So this just lifts up into there and you can see there is a four step bathing ladder which runs down and then good grab handle on there um, as you come out onto the cleat. So as you step up you can see you've got these little steps here which are onto teak and the teak in the cockpit the owners treat this with the the Semco two-part cleaner uh, once a year and then put the protector on it as well and you can really see that the teak is presented beautifully. But if you just if I just stand here and you if you just pan around the cockpit space, I really have been blown away by the condition of this boat. The moment I stepped on board it, I could tell this is a boat that has been really, really loved and cherished by the current owners who have owned the boat for about six years. Now she's powered, powered by twin CAD 32s, which is pretty much the standard engine that comes in the S34, which gives a good turn of performance, but also is really good on the economy as well. And I'll show you down into the engine bay a little bit later. But the layout on the S34, I really like this large chaise long area. So you can really put your feet up in this area here. Um, and you can get, if people were going along, you'd probably get three adults along the area there, three or four children certainly. And then the helm seat here, again, it's really nice to see um, on a 34 foot boat, you've got a double helm seat. And actually that's really, really rare. The Targa 34 has just got a single helm seat. And even the Targa 44 that we've just done a review on has only got a single helm seat. So it's great to be able to sit here uh, with your partner. The dash layout, um, it does age the boat slightly. It's a 1999 boat and you can see this, what was very popular at the time, the sort of the burr walnut effect. Some people might choose to do a wrap on that and change that just to modernize it. But the nice thing is the expensive bits have been done. So the owners have put on here a Raymarine, um, it's an Axiom Pro, I believe it's a nine inch plotter there. Um, and there's also an upgraded Raymarine, um, I think it's an R90, which is situated underneath here. And that's a good handset there. And that actually makes everything feel a little bit more modern. You could of course replace these units as well, but everything's functional, everything works. But if you wanted just to complete the suite here, you could put a couple of maybe a P70 autopilot head and a couple of I70s in there just to freshen it up. The boat's fitted with a bow thruster. Um, that's got a separate battery and all the batteries on this boat were replaced within the last couple of years. Um, all the dials all work and there is also a generator fitted to this boat. So it's got a four kilowatt suitcase generator, which is nestled down in the engine bay. And again, I'll show you that a bit later. In terms of your engine control systems, um, it's got the, the older style. Um, this is not fly by wire. So this has actually got a manual throttle um, cable system, which runs down from here. Um, but these are all functional and you have the lift up for the legs, uh, which is situated just here on the handle, which is a nice and easy position to, to access. And you have your trim tab systems with indicator just in there. 
you can just about see the indicators. They light up with LED lights and that's situated just inside there. Um, done this a bit backwards, but if I go and sit down this area here, um, the upholstery is all in very good condition, but there are a couple of areas on it where you can see there's just a couple of splits starting to appear. So it's the sort of thing that someone would live with for the first couple of seasons, but it might be on the list to upgrade it to Silvertex or something in due course. Um, the space on here on the 34 is really nice. I'd say you'd get six adults around here for a meal. I like the fact the owner has added this um, nice wooden block into there. And then there's also a nice wooden top that's gone onto the side here and that can be lifted up and underneath there you can see there's hot and cold running water. It's nice to see the hot and cold as well because a lot of manufacturers just put a cold water supply um, on this sink but on this one you've got hot and cold. All the fridges have also been updated on this boat and so the fridges um, are just in, there's one fridge just in here and that's a new fridge and there's also a new fridge down below as well. Gas bottle is situated just in the bottom there, so the gas, um, there is gas on board this boat, although the owner could choose to upgrade that and put a, um, a ceramic hob on, because of course you do have the generator for power as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the camera and head downstairs and show you the space that's down below. Sea line are quite clever because they've got relatively steep steps um, on the S34. And the reason they have steep steps is because you then have a lot more space once you're down below. Um, the owner mentioned, I think it's an upgrade, whether it's factory or a previous owner's done it, you actually have stainless steel um, all the way around the windows. And actually they're, they're not pitted, they're all in beautiful condition. But down here, this boat really does feel incredibly fresh. And you really have no idea this boat is a 24 year old boat. Um, the upholstery is presented nicely. I really like the teak and holly floor um, and the steps and just everything is very, very fresh and presented extremely well. Your galley is over here on the port side. You can just close this door. It's got a magnetic catch at the bottom. Nestled under here, you have, oh, so it's a double, double hatch here. I'll just move that out of the way. So just underneath here, you have a two burner hob, which as you would expect on this boat, is all incredibly clean and tidy. You have a twin sink system and then lots of storage space all across the top, a gas oven down there, and another one of these new fridges down here. There's a smart TV fitted up here on the bulkhead together with um, the original sea line barometer and clock system as well. Um, the lights have been upgraded to LED, so you can just see the LED lights just up under there, so it's nice and low, low power draw. And all the carpet that's around the edges, again, is just presented very, very nicely. If we start off in the heads, um, the heads is probably the only area I'd say that does feel a little bit more dated, and it's probably just because of the colour. So what you could do on here is just wrap it with perhaps a slightly more modern colour than the aqua, but it is all immaculate. And of course, that is to different people's tastes. Um, but the big advantage of the, this over a Targa tar 34 is you do have the Jack and Jill door. So from the front cabin point of view, you have access directly into the heads, which is something that the Fairline Targa 34 doesn't have. This is all again presented beautifully and the lighter wood does make this boat feel much, much more modern. It's a good sized bed. It's an offset bed, so it's not in the center, but you have a good step to go up there. So and two people don't have to clamber over each other to get out of bed. Uh, you've got a nice lift up flap here, which can just put some beauty bits and bobs in. Um, and you've got a nice area that you can sit down there um, and prep yourself ready for a night out on board. A good wardrobe space as well. So behind here, you have really good, a full length uh, hanging space. Um, the curtains are in all nice condition and the fabric all around the, the, this forward master cabin is all beautiful. Let's step back through and show you the rear cabin, which again is a very, very good size. So as you step in, um, you've got another full size locker here, wardrobe space here. You've got another lift up. So again, putting all the, your um, beauty things are normally stored in there. And then two really, really wide, um, generous beds in here, which of course can also be infilled to create a double there as well, using the cushions that are at the back. But you can see it is all presented in very, very nice condition. And you have the seat here as well. So if you sit on this seat, you can really see how much space there is on the S34. It's a really, really good boat. All the documentation is stored down there neatly in the, the, um, the folders, all the previous bills of sale and lots of really good history on this boat. So that is the aft cabin. Make our way forward again. Just give a quick sweep again, just to show you how much space there is down here. 
And as you can probably tell, I really am quite taken by this boat. I think this boat really is presented in lovely condition and a real, real credit uh, to the owners. So as we sit down again, um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you how access to the engine bay is done. And then you just lift this up. And if I take the camera again, what you can see down here is twin CAD32 engines in a really, really big size engine space. Now these are presented in very, very nice condition. There you can see that Fisher Panda suitcase generator, four kilowatt down there. You've got the immersion heater down there in the corner. And then you've got recently replaced um, sea fire extinguisher system down here. This really is a boat that is loved. And I really like this bracket down here, which holds an engine heater as well, just to keep the engines in, in nice warm condition throughout the winter. So that's really nice to see. I'll pop that back up there and close that down. I think that's gone well, with the exception of dropping a little piece of wood there. Um, so this has been a Sea Line S34, 1999 boat, but I would say without question, this is the best S34 that I've personally been on. I think it's presented in fantastic condition and it is a pleasure to be brokering this boat. So if you're interested in seeing the boat, please do get in touch with us at parker-adams.co.uk. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and we very much look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks as always for watching.